so now we're, we are up on the third floor, which is uh, where William and his wife used to live when this was a post office, the old Galt post office. She was hungry. Mm -hmm. We're asking if this is where she hung herself off of this part of the rafter. Clockwise spin is positive, counterclockwise is negative, so this is very positive yes answer. Some people think that the spirit is actually moving the pendulum. I prefer to think that it's more of uh, contacting your higher consciousness with the uh, theory, I guess, that everybody knows the answers to all questions. We know everything past, present, and future. I think there's more conscious energy over there in the bell tower, though. I think there was some secret meeting going on back there. There was something, this has all been taken down. There would have been a doorway right there. If you come in here, you can feel it. They were very racy. It's something almost about potentially being seen through the window here. They're very small windows and high up, so they probably wouldn't have been, but there was something very exciting about being in this room. He was doing this despite of his life. She was hoping that he would leave his wife. Emily is here. But I don't think he cared enough to stay around. When we come back, Owner Marv Cohen joins a seance to contact Emily. Well, it's an 1885 building. We, uh, my son bought this building eight years ago. I said I'd come and help him a little bit. I've never worked so hard in my life. But it's a very, very interesting place. Um, uh, it was built in 1885 by the same builder who built the original parliament buildings in Ottawa that burnt down. And we have tried to reconstruct and keep it going, fix all of the different uh, areas that need to be fixed because it's just it's 1885. But over the years, we've, uh, we've come into very many unnatural sightings. Many of the time I would come up, especially in the winter, which is quite amazing, I'd maybe show it once a week, and I'd find the windows wide open, cold. As we started to go up the stairs, the cold would be coming down, just blowing down, and I screwed in about four long four-inch screws into the uh, into the window right into the sill to make sure that it would, wouldn't open and I'd come in the next day and and I'd feel a cold draft coming down there I'd go up there and there'd be the screws lying on the floor window wide open flapping in the wind again and away I'd screw them all in again I'd get them you know really tight and again the next week felt the cold and they were lying on the ground the screws and the window flapping again it has been suggested that after a hundred years of heartache, Emily wants to be set free. And that's why the windows and doors fly open to the world outside. Okay, we're on the, the main floor of the post office where all the postal activity would have taken place. We were just up on the third floor and Kate was directed to come down here by Emily. Do you want to come down and help us? Yeah. Okay, what, what happens here is the energy goes through the table and then the spirit, whoever is uh, here, will start tipping the table. You spend a lot of time in here, right? So a lot. She must really like you. Maybe that's mm, why she's going to you. I push it through there. She's a friendly ghost. Emily, we need to try and figure out yes and no using the table tipping. Can you show us what you're going to do if your answer is yes? Okay, we're going to lean toward Marvin. Yes. Yeah. What's the answer for no? Can that fall that way? way? We need one more person here. See if you can touch thumbs down. Okay, nose toward you. Okay, Emily, we're going to ask you a few questions. Do you like being here at the post office? Yes. Marv, do you have any questions for her? Matter of fact, those windows that I've had are keep on closing. Was that actually you or some wayward employees? <laughs> Was that you opening the windows? That's a yes. You're having fun with me. Is there anything else you want to say to her? I want her to have a good time. Enjoy the, enjoy the pub. We've uh, completed our investigation at Fiddler's Green. Uh, the psychics have uh, received impressions of uh, Emily. Um, she was upstairs, and I guess she came downstairs to talk to us. Uh, they tried the table tipping. 
which was quite interesting. Uh, we put some questions out to her. Uh, we got yes questions, we got no questions, and we got some table tipping. So for all of you watching, anybody who wants a nice ghostly experience while you're dancing and enjoying a drink, I think this is definitely the place. An ill-fated romance binds two troubled spirits to this old building in the heart of Galt. Visitors to the Fiddler's Green are encouraged to come and enjoy a pint of ale. But don't be surprised if you are joined by the restless spirits who still live here. <laughs> 